Good morning and welcome back to my channel. As you all know, my name is Donovan and today we're tackling the question, so you want to be a delivery driver. So I have a few people that ask me, how do you become one and such? Should I become one? Why did I become one? And the question you should ask yourself is, why do you want to become one? There are pros and cons to being with it. Obviously my full-time job is being in the army, but I also do delivery on the side. And the reason I did it is because of financial freedom. It definitely helped my family and I get out of a lot of debt that I had incurred in a previous marriage. So it has definitely helped bring in extra money to help with that. So there are pros and cons with everything of being a delivery driver. And whatever your reason is to become one, own it. Don't be saying, oh, I'm just becoming a delivery driver because I want some extra money to go drinking on the weekend. When in reality, you're actually doing it to make some extra money like I did to get out of debt or to pay school loan. So find out your reason why you want to become it and do it for that reason. And if there's more reasons that come along, then own it. Always do it for yourself and why you want to do it. So some of the pros of being a delivery driver are you are your own boss. You make your own schedule. You can choose when you want to work, what time you want to work, how much you want to work each day and such, which is very nice. And basically financial freedom. So I know a lot of people lost their jobs last year because of the COVID pandemic and everything that happened. So a lot of people got laid off or just straight up fired and then obviously the whole unemployment thing everybody did but if you actually want to be your own boss and make money delivery driving is amazing some of the cons though with it are though because you're not getting exact salary like if you had with a typical nine to five job sometimes you have to work longer hours and i know one of the big cons when i'm doing it is working with rude customers you'll get a lot of customers that or from some of the fanciest restaurants probably spend like a hundred dollars on their food and they won't tip you at all and you only get like three dollars for this delivery like that is one of the worst things you're delivering all this fancy food you're making sure it's in your hot bag you're driving safely you're making sure the drinks don't spill you got the straws and everything could be perfect you're even updating that you're there at the restaurant you got their food you're headed to them and everything and they still don't tip you so that is one of the biggest cons is you'll you'll have some of the rudest customers ever or another example is one what do you call it they didn't put in the app that they wanted it contactless so i went up there knocked on the door to give them their food and they like yelled and screamed because i didn't place it on their porch like they wanted but in reality they had never put that in the delivered notes that they wanted contact list or that they wanted me to leave it there to call them and let them know i was there so that is one of the cons that you'll be dealing with but being a delivery driver is a great opportunity and it is very easy to become one for doordash for grubhub it took a few months till i got accepted because there was a lot here in colorado springs but those two apps are definitely the best to join and i will be doing a future video about the differences between doordash and grubhub and overall i would basically say doordash you make a lot more but grubhub you have i would say a lot more opportunities and orders but there are cons with that as well so if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe and leave your notifications on for more future video as i go more in depth with tips and tricks on how to make the most money with door dashing and grub hubbing and how to actually do both of them at the same time have a great day